Hello everyone and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. In Coronation Street, Bethany Platt, Lucy Fallon, sees an opportunity and seizes it, and it entails exacting revenge on Daisy Midgley, Charlotte Jordan. In February, Bethany lost her employment after a story exposing Daisy's past with Ryan, Ryan Prescott, was published and Daisy took legal action to retaliate. In subsequent episodes, Bethany regains control of the situation when she discovers Daisy has been telling a few lies about the size of her bank account. As Daisy comes out of Tim's, Joe Dateen, taxi with her shopping bags, Bethany assumes she must have spent a fortune, but Daisy snaps and claims it was all from charity stores. In the Rovers, an inquisitive Bethany overhears Jenny, Sally Ann Matthews, ripping a strip off Daisy for spending so much money on her shopping spree and advises them both to keep a low profile when it comes to money. Later, when Tim admits that he picked Daisy up from the center of Manchester, Bethany realizes she was lying. During the week, Bethany persuades a hesitant Daisy to assist her with the preparation for their dinner. While Daisy is preoccupied, Bethany heats up the oven for the apple pie. Daisy walks out to get a substitute for the burnt dessert, leaving Bethany and Ryan to cook dinner. When Jenny summons Ryan to the bar, Bethany seizes the chance to dig through drawers, throw something into her handbag, and rush away. Back at the flat, Bethany takes Stevens, Todd Boyce, journal out of her bag and flips through it, enthralled. Your weekly horoscope. But will Bethany learn that Daisy stole Stephen's money at the end of last year? In Coronation Street, all eyes are on Dee Dee Bailey, Chenique Sterling Brown, the solicitor who is now striving to prove that Roy Cropper, David Nielsen, was not involved in Lauren Bolton's disappearance. Shortly after the authorities began an inquiry into Lauren's disappearance, attention shifted to Roy, one of the last persons to see the troubled figure. When D.S. Swain, Vicki Myers, and Craig Colson Smith questioned Roy, he provided a lot of details. He stated that he frequently looked for Lauren, stopped by her flat to clean it as a courtesy to Evelyn, Maureen Lipman, and was even washing some of Lauren's items at his place. Of course, we trusted what Roy stated, but others haven't. Roy has unexpectedly found himself in the center of a tragic ordeal since his detention. Many individuals, most of whom do not know Roy, assume the cafe owner is responsible for Lauren's disappearance and have taken it upon themselves to make his life as miserable as possible. Coming up, Dee Dee informs Adam, Sam Robertson, and Alia, Sarah Khan, that she is concerned that all of the evidence thus far is stacked against Roy. Later, Carla, Allison King, finds Dee Dee and informs her about Roy's sleepwalking and nasty phone calls. Feeling the pressure, Dee Dee assures Carla that she is doing all possible to prove Roy's innocence. But with the evidence stacked against Roy and the abuse escalating, can Dee Dee emerge as the hero? Tracy McDonald, Kate Ford, is to upset her friends and family in Coronation Street next week as she takes the choice to depart for pastures new. The renowned character, played by Kate Ford since 2002, has been having a torrid affair with former footballer Tommy Orpington, Matt Milburn, for months, leaving her husband Steve, Simon Gregson, distraught. Tracy took advantage of the opportunity to sleep with her husband's idol when he was on vacation in France after hiring him as a painter and decorator. Tim Metcalf, Joe Dateen caught them in the act of adultery and was forced to reveal it to his best friend after learning that Steve had offered a vow renewal. After hearing through the grapevine that Tommy was preparing to relocate to Spain to serve as an assistant coach, Steve decided to retaliate and announced it in front of the entire Rovers squad. Tracy was upset by the transfer as she had hoped to spend the rest of her life with her new boyfriend. She told him after lunch at the restaurant that their affair was over and hasn't spoken to him since. However, in approaching scenes, all of that appears to change as the street stalwart prepares to leave 47 Tracy, years after the daughter the of Deirdre appearance. Barlow, Anne Kirkbride, and Ray Langton, Neville Buswell, has experienced her fair share of drama in the ITV soap, including kidney failure and murdering boyfriend Charlie Stubbs, Bill Ward, with an ornament. However, with her recent setback, she will consider starting a new life on the other side of Europe, 
When Steve discovers Tommy's letter urging her to move to Spain with him, he buries it. After admitting to daughter Amy, L. Mulvaney, that she misses having a male in her life, Tracy returns home with a plan to reconstruct her marriage, promising Steve that she made a stupid mistake and will never betray him again. He is overjoyed to have reconciled, but at the corner shop, Dev Allahan, Jenny Harkishin, is unimpressed and refuses to offer him a celebration bottle of wine. Steve suggests they go to the pub instead, seizing the opportunity to burn the letter before she can read it. But it appears too late. Tracy packs her luggage at no, one later that week after speaking with Tommy and tells her family that she will miss them. During the parting drink, Steve hides behind his newspaper on the opposite side of the bar. Is the adored character going to prison for a crime he did not commit? Former Coronation Street star Kimberly Hart Simpson announced on social media that her beloved Auntie Pat has died. The actress, who portrayed Nikki Wheatley in the ITV serial, informed her Instagram fans that her aunt passed away after a long fight with cancer. Sharing a sequence of photos of herself and her late aunt, she wrote, In the very early hours of Wednesday, we lost Ani Pat following her continuous struggle with cancer. It has been extremely difficult to say goodbye to a valued part of our family. Despite knowing the end was close, she allowed us all to find laughter in moments of pain offered chats so nothing was left unsaid and even threw in a couple of show tunes along the way. She joins my dad, her brother, who she was with at his birth and final breaths, her husband Uncle David, and her beloved dog, and there is immense peace in that. She continued, my cousin Paula will be reading this, you've always looked after others, it's time we looked after you, I adore and respect you as the family's unifying force. Cancer has had a hold over my family the past year with various relatives and others who are suffering the same loss, pain, and fight. You are not alone. The soap star concluded, Here's to Ani Pat, who loved nothing more than a good joke and is undoubtedly planning her first haunting prank. Kimberly's tweet received praise from fans and fellow celebs, including TV presenter Christine McGuinness, who wrote, Sending tons of love. Andy Wyman, who portrays Kirk Sutherland on Corey, responded, sending love to you all. Kimberly's old soap character Nikki, as viewers will know, was introduced as a sex worker whom Daniel Osborne, Rob Mallard, the friended following Synod Tinkers, Katie McGlynn death. The character became recurring and after her initial stint ended, she was reinstated as a teaching assistant at the school, which annoyed Daisy Midgley, Charlotte Jordan, who was dating Daniel at the time. After her final appearance to date, which aired in July 2022, Kimberly confirmed to viewers that she had not quit Corey, but rather that her then-current storyline had concluded. If you watched Friday's episodes, there was no big leaving scene, so you never know what will happen in the future, but what I do know is this, I owe so much to Corey and I adore it there, the people, the attitude and the street, she explained. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.